Hey, hi, hello again everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, it is tremendous to be back out here with you again taking a look at an upcoming real-time strategy roguelite. Yeah, you heard that right, you heard that right. So we're going to see if we can have a good time showing this off. And you know what? I'm sure we're going to, as we usually do, right? Folks, this is a game called Grit and Valor 1949. And this takes place in an alternate World War II reality where the Axis forces have won. And we are trying to fight back with mechs and all kinds of interesting firepower. Now, our main goal is to protect this supply car and keep our guys positioned in the most optimal way where they're protected, but they can also lay down attacks on the incoming enemy. We're going to go through six waves at a time, usually. Going to send our fuel car over to there. Now, some of our pilots have additional capabilities uh, that can be used as well. They have different charges. Uh, so eight uses, 15 uses. This is a, a healing capability on this mech. We also want to try and make sure that we've got the high ground uh, whenever we can. We cannot attack when we're moving, so that's another thing we've got to think about and keep track of. Now you might be thinking, hey Goat, that's really cool. This is uh, looking pretty great. Hey, how is this a roguelite? Where does that come into play? Well, I am so glad you asked. So, what happens along the way is you get to power up your mech with different uh, parts that apply additional buffs and capabilities. Uh, some of my mechs have speed buffs on them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fuel back up and see if we can deliver the supplies again here. That's okay, because this mech has a repair function. Now you can kind of see where they're going to be coming from and plan a little bit ahead. I like this guy, the spider mech, because he's got really long range. Alright, let's put these guys over here. Perfect. All right, so we didn't nail the, bo the bonus that time, but that's okay. While your explosive mechs are stationary, they have increased damage resistance. That would probably make sense because I don't move them around a whole lot and defense is pretty important in this game. Yeah, okay. So here's what we're going to do. Our... Little supply cart has this capability where any mechs that are next to it, uh, when he pops this off, they get repairs. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna put this guy over here, and uh, we're gonna keep this guy over here. Actually, move him up just a little bit. Okay, a nice start overall. And I'm actually going to pop off another one of these heels while we're over here. This guy I'm going to move up above. I'm going to move this guy over here into cover. Our spider mech is healed up. We're going to give him the high ground. Uh, and you do get attack bonuses when you've got the high ground, of course. 
We've got to try and do more damage with our spider bot here, our explosive class. Now I'm going to pop him down over there. Let's see if we can get some shots off to get that explosive damage going. I think we will go ahead and fire off a repair. Now, as you'll see, I do not claim to be the greatest RTS player there ever was. I'm also still learning the game. Hey, we're going to get some explosive damage going, maybe? There it is. 48 at a time, so is there enough time to catch up? It's possible. We're a little bit more than halfway there. We've got some action coming from this way. Let's uh, go ahead and give the high ground. There we go, there we go. More explosive damage happening. Perfect. Okay, one more time. So, let's see where we can get some cover at. Uh, maybe we want to come over here with one of them. Hard to say. All right. I'd like to move him up a little bit more. Let's do some explosive damage to this guy. Hey, there we go. Got our bonus. Maybe let's not stand there with our flame unit and just take damage. Okay, your fire mechs have increased fire rate and inflict exposed. Where they're gonna take increased damage. I think we'll just go with the rare. Yeah, see, we're gonna get bonuses along the way as well. Uh, let's... You know, let's do this. Log entry. As you stumble upon what resembles a workshop, the owner emerges, a figure cloaked in grease and determination. With a grizzled smile, he extends an offer to bolster either the offensive or defensive capabilities of your mechs, promising to infuse them with newfound power. Huh. Well, you know, this guy's health is doing fine. I, I kind of want the enhancement. All right. So, I can't say that I'm sure where that enhancement shows up. Because I believe... Oh no, we've got, we've got a third one now. Okay, so I think they added something over to here. Some additional movement speed, perhaps? I'm not sure, folks. We're going to keep moving on here. Um, let's try. Well, then we'll have two advanced combats in a row. You know what? We'll go that route. I used to play the RTS games so much in the past. I can't tell you how many sleepovers we had where, you know, you just sit there and play StarCraft all night. It was just such a good time. Alright, we're going to start out over here and see how this does. At some point, we're going to grab the high ground, of course. We need five kills with the fire class unit this time, which, honestly, that, that should be no problem. We're going to go over here. Speaking of our spider unit, we'll go over there. And I guess we'll just grab more of the high ground. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad. We've got range out to there. Oops. Alright. Let's go ahead and fire off a repair for our flame unit. Pop this guy over here and... Uh, Let's move up a little bit. Well, actually, there we go. 
Okay, where are they coming from? That side. So, this dude can stay over here. Well, we'll pop him over there, actually. And then maybe we'll hide our flame unit this way. Oh, those guys are... Now you kind of have to change up the strategy as you go along. I do want to use these mines at some point. In fact, let's pop these down now. I'm just going to assume that they're going to be somewhere over here. Let's move this guy over here, actually. We're just going to go behind the cover. See, isn't that kind of nice on the mines? Now, of course, these guys are coming from this direction now. Our mech made short work of them. Final wave. So we want to make sure that our flamer gets a workout here if possible. We're going to grab the high ground and then uh, we're going to grab the high ground with this dude too. And I like that they leave these icons on the ground so that you get a really good feel for where everybody's going to show up while they're walking. Come on, nail this guy. Here we go. Did we get our fifth kill? Oh, I guess not. I think we were robbed on that. While your fire mechs are moving, they have increased damage resistance. When any of your mechs kill an enemy afflicted by exposed, they gain increased movement speed. Or, while your fire mechs are on high ground, their movement speed is increased. I like that. Let's do that. Cheers to you out there. I have got a coffee going, and I would tell you that uh, this, is, this is a pretty good coffee playing game. Uh, let's just go with the heal this time. You get ample time to get the sips in, you know? All right, we stumbled upon an abandoned Axis mech. Despite its ruined state, you discern the potential for salvaging components to upgrade your own mechs. With only limited parts to salvage, where best to concentrate your efforts to maximize the impact of your upgrades? Well, I am thinking we go with an enhancement again. With a steady hand, you set to work carefully dismantling the remnants of the machine, each salvage part bolstering an enhancement. So, again, is it is not clear to me yet uh, how that is, but it, it must be something to do with these popping up. It, it says four, but we have five. All right. Hey, it's a work in progress. This is a demo. And I'm having a good time with it. Talked a little bit about StarCraft sleepovers. What a time. Right, we're going to fuel up and then deliver some. And then we got guys coming. Ooh, that is not... Alright, let's go over there, rather. And let's get a guy up here. And... Up Apparently, we got a guy coming over here, too, so we'll pop that guy down there. Seems like halfway decent placement on our explodey guy, right? Taking some damage, I guess. Okay. Not a terrible start. Let's uh, set up out here, I think. And we'll come over here as well. An additional speed burst with the high ground is appreciated. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, let's fuel up again. And we'll do what we can to get this supply bonus. Sometimes I like to spin the camera. Now we'll pop this over here. Oh, let's get him up there. And... I was gonna say, I was surprised that that guy wasn't shooting right away.
Okay. All right, why don't you go and deliver? And now they're gonna be coming from up here again, which... Oh, shite. All right. Well, our little cart is gonna take some hits. Everybody's taking some hits on this one. You know what? Let's do that. Yeah, so we've got a jumping capability that's quite good. And I'm gonna just hide our supply truck back there, actually. Get out there, buddy. Go over here and do another mech jump if I can. No. It didn't exactly work timing wise. Okay, and of course they like to change it up. So they're gonna come over here, aren't they? In this weird. Sp well, maybe not. No, it looks like they are. Okay, we're gonna bring that dude over there. We're gonna move our truck back, and I think these guys might just stay where they're at. Move them a little bit closer. They can damage that thing. Uh, the fire seems to do more damage to the exploding mech. Uh, their, their spider mech, I should say. Your fire mechs attack, deal, increase damage, and inflict burn. Yeah, that seems like the way to go, doesn't it? I mean, this is interesting, too. But I'm going to lean offensively for this one. I don't know that it makes sense to, to do that. The mechs are a little bit banged up. You'd probably agree. Uh, so... Let's see, we've got another... Ah, uh, radio towers. Okay, so let's get in the process of doing that, and I think we're going to go ahead and take the high ground while we can. Uh, we'll pop that dude over there. This guy really doesn't have great trajectory from that position. Now, where are these guys coming from? Almost got this captured. Okay. So... Uh, let's... I guess let's pop over there. Oh, shite. Okay, well, that guy got taken out, so... Let's go try and take over this tower. And at the end of the run, I am going to show you how the meta progression works. The pilots can be updated uh, with different kinds of buffs. As can the mechs. I really don't want to lose a mech right now. Okay, that wasn't terrible. And we're about to take over this tower. I'm a little bit worried about our exploding mech. Let's go ahead and upgrade our fire mech. Upgrade. Heal, I mean. Okay, that's, uh, that's not great. Take this guy out. Come on. Okay, let's 
hurry up and get over here. And we'll put our spider over here. This guy's got a good hiding spot right now. We did manage to secure both of the uh, radio towers. Go ahead and repair. I would like to pop this over here, believe it or not, and fire off a repair, the reinforce capability on both of those mechs, if we can. Let's see. There we go. All right, this guy's got to do the job. In fact, I want to fire this off again right now. All right, that was a waste. That was a waste. That's okay. Your ballistic mechs have increased fire rate and inflict suppressed. Extra hit damage. When your ballistic mechs deal critical damage, they have a chance to cause an extra hit. Huh. Yeah, let's do it. That sounds interesting. Okay, I think uh, we're going to go with the scenario. Uh, you stumble upon what looks like a vault in the face of a cliff with no insignia of who it belongs to. Who knows what riches could be inside? Who knows? It's true. So we upgrade an enhancement, but the max take 25 damage. We can't afford that right now. All right, we're going to ignore that. And I don't know. I mean, we're not doing too bad. This is the final area right here. What a time, folks. What a time. It's all that training and uh, all the old RTS favorites I was mentioning. StarCraft, all the Warcrafts, all of them. Played them all, loved them all. Command and Conquer, played that as well. What a time. All right, we're going to go try and capture this tower. Oh, not flames, not flames, get out of there. Explodey spider. Flames are extra harsh on our explodey mech. Alright, so they're coming from this side this time. Let's go grab that. And let's move up. Get some explosions going. Can we reach that far? No. Okay, well, we got everybody moved. I, I don't know that we had to have everybody move, but coming from here this time. So let's start moving. And I'm going to maintain the high ground. All right, start blasting. There we go. I love the range on this guy. Okay, so we're going to redirect. Actually, let's switch that out. We're going to have our explodey guy go up there. And then we'll have these guys come up here. Ooh, there's a mech. All right, come on. There we go. We'll double down on him. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Um, hmm. Alright, we're gonna go over here and remove everybody kind of in this area. Oh boy. All right, we're we're a mech down officially. But we're still kicking. We're still kicking. As long as that supply truck stays viable. We are still in the action. Now, let's put him out there and I guess See if we can get this thing taken. I mean, this is the final round. 
Our flamer is doing the job. Perfect. Cheers to you. Your fire mechs attacks deal increased damage and inflict burn. Well, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that. Okay, obtain enhancement. Max takes 25 damage or gang 75 black coins, which I believe are utilized as part of the, yes, the shop or to reroll. So that's the thing. I don't, I don't see us hitting the shop, but I don't want to take 25 damage to the max. So. I suppose we'll just do that, and uh, let's see what happens here, folks. Give it the old college try, right? I mean, this supply truck is, uh, it's seen better days, let me tell you. Okay, we gotta keep this guy armored up. We gotta stay out of the way of these bomb drops. Oh, no fire, no fire on our spider. Okay. Hey, if you're having a fun time, do me a favor, hit that like button. It'll help more people learn about the game and love helping out these smaller dev teams, right? Okay, well, we are not gonna be able to go that way anymore because if we walk through that stuff, we are gonna have a bad time, let me tell you. But this looks like it might be okay, because we've got the high ground up here. Now we can move our guy up. But you watch, we're gonna have to move him next time, I bet. And I wanna bet that, okay, all right. So we'll move that over there, and we'll just kinda set up around here. You know what we're gonna do? We are gonna start deploying mines all over the damn place once we figure out where they're gonna land. So we're gonna put some mines right, well we can't, so we're gonna put them up there instead. We're gonna get this out of the way. We're gonna get this out of the way. And we are gonna maintain the high ground. We gotta get this over here so that it can provide some help. There we go. Oh, are we not able to hit that far away with our flame unit? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Alright. Should've put more mines down, folks. <laughs> okay, so. We got some scrap. We got some valor. Let's head back to the hub area. We don't want to see the Axis powers celebrate too much out there, right? So if we go to the junkyard shop, that's where we can spend our scrap on all kinds of additional pieces that we can mold onto our mechs. Now this is interesting. I've not seen the servos pop up yet. So I'm going to buy the servos and then we're going to bounce out of there. We're going to go into the pilot's area. Oh, wow. Increase range by one tile. That's really neat, too. And remember, you can reposition the pilots across the mechs as well. Uh, I'm absolutely going to go with the expanded range. That's very interesting. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. Now, we come into the mech yard, and we say, hey, we got that stuff for the legs. We go ahead and put that on there. And now our mech is buffed from a movement speed standpoint. Isn't that cool? 
Folks, this is a game called Grit and Valor 1949. This is a demo for the game, and uh, I want to thank the developer for reaching out and offering us an early look. I'm sure you'll be able to uh, get your hands on the demo at some point. This is going to be out later in 2025 at some point in time, so it's probably going to change a whole bunch along the way, but... Uh, I like what I saw here, and if you do too, do these guys a favor, throw this on your wish list. I will include a link to uh, the game in our uh, video description, per usual. Feel free to check it out. Hey, have a great rest of your day out there, and let's do this again soon. We'll get together, we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite, because that's what we do every time, and... Uh, you know, we'll give away a video game at least once a week because we love doing those too. We can do them because of you, because of your support. Thanks so much. Can't thank you enough. Have a great one. We'll see you next time.